Yo, yo, I'm back with another PSA on the top 20 quarterbacks. I, I reviewed 20 through 10. Uh, th I mean 22 through 11, my fault. This is King Known here, representing for uh, everybody. <laughs> so, um, number 20, Matthew Stafford. 19, Andy Dalton. 18, Matt Schaub. 17, Cam Newton. 16, RG3, 15, Philip Rivers, 14, Jay Cutler, 13, Michael Vick, number 12, Andrew Luck, number 11, Alex Smith. Number 10, my homeboy ain't gonna like this shit at all because he hates Colin Kaepernick, but Colin Kaepernick at 10. Name one motherfucker that you change your whole offense for, switched an elite quarterback for, and took them niggas to the Super Bowl. That's Colin Kaepernick for your ass. Colin Kaepernick was a nigga that you put in for situational purposes only. When something requires Colin Kaepernick to run. Like, in the beginning, he didn't throw the ball. So I was concerned when Jim Harbaugh put him in last year. And I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Alex Smith balling. Look at these numbers. You know, he brought Matt, Randy Moss back from the dead. Like, what, he, what is Jim Harbaugh doing? Well, what I didn't know was Alex Smith had taken his team to the uh, NFC Championship last year. So Colin Kaepernick took them further. Hence the reason why I put Colin Kaepernick over Smith. I think Colin Kaepernick had a lot to do with them going. Because he... He didn't turn over the ball like that. He ran his ass off. You know, the read option was popping last year. I know a lot of people have an opinion about as far as, you know, the read option ain't popping for him this year. But you have to account of this. You know, 49ers are going through injury issues at this point. I'm not making excuses for Colin Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? And it could be a sophomore slump. And then you have to attribute that Colin Kaepernick only played, what, eight games last year, including playoffs maybe? I, I think that's what it was. I think he played five season games and uh, three um, games in the playoffs, that, which led to the Super Bowl, where he was one possession away from being a champion. He was one pass to Michael Crabtree away from being a Super Bowl champ. So you got to give Colin Kaepernick the credit that, where credit is due. You could also credit the defense also, which was key the whole entire season. You know, there's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, he's got a lot of weapons that are coming back from injury. So once those whole, the, once the weapons come back, and if he doesn't show, you know what I'm saying, that he can do it with the weapons, then you can say, okay, Colin Kaepernick ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying, he's overrated. But I don't think he's overrated. I think he's all right. Where the, where the hell he's at? Number 10. Number 9, Russell Wilson. Now, Russell Wilson is barely elite for this one reason. The boy can ball. Like, he came in. Matt Flynn got signed for a $45 million deal. He was supposed to be the dude to take over. And Russell Wilson, second round pick, came in, stole his spot, had a 10 and 6 season. I mean, you could attribute that to the defense also, but Russell Wilson can play. His only flaw is playing on the road. If Russell Wilson can play on the road and prove he can win on the road and win on the road in the playoffs, then this dude could possibly be top five or maybe top top six, maybe. Around in that, you know, range. Russell Wilson's elite. I think Russell Wilson's got a long way to go, of course. You know, everybody does, especially young black quarterbacks in this league that have the read option and the pistol. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't think that's going to last. I mean, long as Russell Wilson knows how to work it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think Russell Wilson, we got the makings of a superstar. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a better quarterback than Kaepernick. He's not faster than Kaepernick, but I think he's a better quarterback and makes better decisions than Kaepernick by hair because they're basically virtually the same guy. You know what I'm saying? They both don't make many mistakes, but the only thing is I think Kaepernick didn't ha didn't play many road games either. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to see what Colin Kaepernick does on the road. You know what I'm saying? I seen him play one road game against the Saints, you know what I'm saying, and he made a mistake. And then also, after Colin Kaepernick makes a mistake, he goes off after he does it. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Colin Kaepernick don't fumble. Ne- neither does Russell Wilson. So I think they're the same guy, but I just think Russell's better personally. Number eight, Matt Ryan. I think Matt Ryan's a little bit overrated because, you know what I'm saying, Matt Ryan's biggest problem is he hadn't been able to get it done. And he got it done last year, good enough to go to the NFC Championship game. I mean, they had the best record in the NFC. They better. You know what I'm saying? That The Falcons' expectations are very high because Matt Ryan – it's supposed to be elite. You know what I'm saying? He came out the same year as Joe Flacco, which we'll get into in a minute. But um, anyway, Matt Ryan, I think he has all the intangibles. I think he has all the skills. I think he's a very smart quarterback. I think he has very good targets to throw to. You know what I'm saying? And I think that it's really dope. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think that Matt Ryan's biggest flaw is – the clutch gene. He's got to develop a clutch gene. He's got to say, the ball in my hand, I'm going to throw the ball, I'm going to make the play with my arm, and my receiver's going to catch it because it's so damn good when I throw this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Matt Ryan's got to have that mentality, and I don't think he has that. He's got the Stafford syndrome, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if I can go in and beat the Saints. I don't know if I can go in. They're the 49ers. Oh, my God. I'm scared. I mean, they started off well against the 49ers. It's just that the 49ers got that comeback syndrome. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that Matt Ryan's just got to develop that clutch with him. Once he does that, I think he'll be top five. And, you know, he's got to win the Super Bowl. You, you got to get to the Super Bowl. If you're elite and you want to be in the company of a Tom Brady or a Peyton Manning, you got to win the Super Bowl. Now, number, number seven, Joe Flacco. This man came in there. He's clutch. He's the most underrated quarterback in the whole NFL to me. I think that Joe Flacco doesn't get enough credit for being clutch. And he's clutch. The problem is, during the season, however, you know, Joe Flacco is kind of sporadic. You know what I'm saying? It takes him a long time to get into it. But once the playoffs begins, you know, Joe Flacco brings it. He always wins a game in the playoffs. He's, he's proven. He's proved that he could go in, you know what I mean, whooping niggas ass to start war shit, like Tupac be saying this shit. But anyway, yeah, Joe Flacco ready for war. He equipped. You know, he may not have the numbers. He might not have the, the great QBR like a Tom Brady or a Peyton Manning or a Drew Brees or a quarterback, a great quarterback rating or whatnot. But Joe Flacco, I mean, you could also say Anquan Bolden was the main reason why Joe Flacco was even hot. But I think Joe Flacco, he wasn't scared. You know, he was clutch, and he proved it. You know, I don't know if he deserved all that money in that contract, you know what I'm saying? I think he should have just took a three-year deal, you know what I'm saying, and shut the fuck up. That's my honest opinion. But Joe Flacco, he's a beast. He's dope. Number six, Eli Manning. I know a lot of y'all niggas going to say Eli Manning and the Giants suck this year. Give 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 him an offensive line then, motherfucker. Stop complaining, Giants fans. Get your man an offensive lineman. Like the block. Then maybe Eli can showcase his greatness. Eli beat my man, my favorite quarterback, Tom Brady, in two straight Super Bowls. But, you know, my excuse is the Giants defense got in that ass. That Giants defensive line got all up in that ass like rocket pads. Okay? Just think about it. Eli Manning, he may look dumb, but his arm ain't dumb. Eli Manning has made some clutch throws. Eli Manning has gotten out of clutch situations. Eli Manning has taken wild card teams to the Super Bowl. Eli Manning is a role warrior. He's just a better version of Joe Flacco, if you ask me. I think he's a better Joe Flacco because he's been in two Super Bowls only. Because he's, nobody's won more playoff games than Joe Flacco and Eli Manning. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that matters at this point. If you go in on the road and you win playoff games, you're considered a motherfucking genius. Number five. Big Ben on your bitch. Big Ben. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger is an underrated quarterback because Ben Roethlisberger has the ability to 
extend the play. He's number five because he also has two Super Bowl championships. You got to give him respect for that. Um, the Steelers have been the butt of the joke of the good elite teams. You know, the Steelers are in rebuild mode. So there, a lot of pressure is on Big Ben Roethlisberger. But the problem is ben Bear, Big Ben Roethlisberger doesn't have a line. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have the tools around him to succeed. I think that's something that has something to do with upper management. But if Ben Roethlisberger has the right people around him, he can make anybody better. He came in, took Tommy Maddox's job, took the took the Steelers to the playoffs as a rookie, and then beat you know he beat Peyton Manning. I think twice in his career in the playoffs. I'm not sure about the actual number, but I know he beat him at least once. Ben Roethlisberger could go toe to toe with any of these quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why he's number five. Number four, Drew Brees' Christ. Drew Brees. That man can play. Mama, there goes that man. Drew Brees. He's a he's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Drew Brees is very, very smart. The problem is Drew Brees can't play outdoors that well, from what I hear. You know, outdoor you know, outside the Superdome, Drew Brees doesn't play very good from what I hear. When he goes outside and shit. You know, he doesn't play very well. When he plays on grass, he doesn't do very well. You know what I'm saying? So, Drew Brees is dope. He's got a Super Bowl ring, Super Bowl championship. He took the New Orleans Saints from obscurity to from so many close playoff berths. He, he made the New Orleans ain't the New Orleans Saints. And then you have to credit the defensive coordinator and the Bounty Gate scandal for, that, for, for them uh, making it as far as they did. Drew Brees is a monster. He's well respected. The only reason why he's better than Ben Roethlisberger is because he makes all the weapons around him weapons. You know what I'm saying? You could argue that Jimmy Graham's a fucking beast. You could argue that Marcus Colston's real big. You could argue that Lance Moore is clutch with his catching. But other than that, Drew Brees, the man. Number three, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. The bad man. Like Stephen A. Smith says, I don't think he's all that, but I think he's top three because Aaron Rodgers is proven. His numbers speak for themselves. He got the, he got one of the best numbers in the game next to Peyton Manning. He's got numbers. He doesn't commit many turnovers. His offensive line could use a little bit of work, but with the offensive line that he has, and for him to still be able to operate and to still win games and to still be as clutch as he is. I think Aaron Rodgers is overrated. They consider him the best in the league, which is utter bullshit. He's not better than Peyton. He's not better than Tom. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have the rings that Eli has. But then again, the, the Packers' defense is questionable on all accounts. I mean, they got a good linebacking core, but that's it. B.J. Rodgers falling off. The secondary is trash. So, you know what I'm saying? There's no excuses. I think Aaron Rodgers' numbers putting him in the top three. Number two, Peyton Manning. I mean, I don't like this dude, man, for many reasons. You know, I never was a Colts fan. I always hated the Colts. I always hated everything that Peyton Manning stood for until I was a little bit older. You know, I was a young, dumbass kid that just talked a lot of shit about the person of Tom Brady. I couldn't figure out an excuse. And then once I did, looked up the numbers, I found my excuse. Peyton Manning doesn't play well in the playoffs. Peyton Manning only played well one season. And you know what happened? They won the Super Bowl. They choked against the Steelers. They choked. They, they let the Jets beat them. They let the Jets beat them at home. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. They let Mark Sanchez's arm beat them. The Colts, I think they were overrated, but I think they were dope. You know what I'm saying? Peyton Manning is the ultimate play caller. Peyton Manning is the man. Straight up. Real talk. On the Broncos, he's doing his thing. But Peyton Manning, just, the, what keeps him from being number one is just the fact that he can't win playoff games. He has an under 500 playoff record. I don't know the exact record, but I know it's under 500. He doesn't win good. He, does, he can't win games on the road. He couldn't beat the Chargers when Phillip Rivers was elite. Enough said. Number one, my favorite quarterback, Tom Brady. A lot of people are going to say you dick sucking Tom Brady. No. He turned shit to sugar. He, he proved that today on y'all suck ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady is the number one quarterback because he's taking three teams to the Super Bowl. You could argue that Tom Brady always had a defense behind him. You could argue that. And with no defense, Tom Brady ain't been clutch. They haven't won the Super Bowl since 2004. You could argue that aspect. 
But Tom Brady still would win at least one playoff game. Except the one time they went against the Jets, I believe. Wasn't that the Jets game or wasn't that the... No, yeah, it is. That first playoff game against the Jets. That was the only time that they went 0 for 1 in, in the playoffs. But other than that, Tom Brady consistently wins playoff games. His numbers might not be good as, as Rodgers and, and, and them, but Tom Brady has broken records. He's broken the touchdown record. I mean, you can argue that you can say when he had Randy Moss and West Welker. But when he had no weapons, when he had no receiver weapons, he won those three titles. And Tom Brady would get them in position to win. You can, argue, you can also argue that Adam Vinatieri, you know what I'm saying, helped them out in those aspects. But you have to get down the field in order for the kicker to come out. The kicker can't kick 80-yard field goals, 70-yard field goals. Only Janikowski can get 60-yard field goals and uh, Rob Barone. But other than that, I think Tom Brady's the best quarterback in the game still because he carries himself well. He throws the quarterback. I mean, I mean, he throws the ball well, my fault. And I think that he's very uh, talented. He's very smart. He's not as smart as Peyton Manning is. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, sometimes Tom Brady gets a little bit nervous under pressure. But he commits less mistakes than the average quarterback does. And he takes a risk now and again. You know what I'm saying? He gets picked off. You know, he, he's, and that's what, that's what makes him the best. I mean, he's human. And everybody knows that Tom Brady's human. Everybody thinks Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees are, are not human. And everybody thinks the elusive running, the elusive, the elusive running quarterbacks like Cam Newton and RG3 and Michael Vick and, and those guys, they're unstoppable. But those dudes make crazy decisions. Tom Brady doesn't run unless he feels like it. Tom Brady doesn't feel like running unless the coach tells him to do it or they set up a play specifically for him to run. But other than that, I think that Tom Brady is the best quarterback. So those are my top 20 quarterbacks. One hunter. Have a nice day. Westside.